What is going on guys, Eric White here. Happy New Year from everyone here at Innovation Nation. We hope you guys are having a good year so far. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So it's 2019 now, and 2018 has been a very good year for tech overall, but there are some things in 2019 that me specifically, I'm really looking forward to and hope to see. And the first thing that we have to talk about is the Galaxy S10. Now this one has been talked about since the Galaxy S8, and there have been a lot of leaks and rumors about this phone to date. This one is set to come out around January, February, and the first thing that we know about the phone is that there's going to be three models. The Galaxy S10 Plus, the Galaxy S10 Edge, and also the Galaxy S10 Lite. Now the Galaxy S10 Lite is going to be the budget-friendly side of the phones. This phone isn't going to have nearly as many bells and whistles as the Galaxy S10 Plus has. The Galaxy S10 Edge is simply going to be the all-arounder base model phone for the Galaxy S10, while the Galaxy S10 Plus is going to have all the features, bigger screen, and everything like that. They're going to be doing something very similar to what Apple does, with the iPhone XR being the budget-friendly phone, the iPhone XS being the regular phone, and the iPhone XS Max being the higher end of the spectrum. Now with the Galaxy S10, we can expect a 19 by 9 aspect ratio, which is a little bit of a bump up from the S8, Note 9, and Note 8 aspect ratio of 18 and a half by 9. We can also expect a 1440 by 3040 display from the Galaxy S10 and from the future phones on. And lastly, you may have noticed something a little bit different. It's not sporting the notch like the iPhone 10 does. It is sporting what Samsung calls the Infinity O display, which is just a cutout for the camera with no notch or anything bombarding the screen. Now, the second thing that I'm also excited about and also has to do with the Samsung phones, and it's gonna be the first to ship with the Samsung phones, is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. Now, there's a lot of things that I can talk about with the Snapdragon 855, but the first thing that we have to say is that it's gonna be similar to Apple again, and that it sports a seven nanometer chip, just like the iPhones do. It's gonna be faster and come with multi-gigabit speeds, and with those multi-gigabit speeds comes 5G. Now, 5G is obviously a step up from 4G, and it's set to have more consistent reliability and things like that. I personally don't think we should make this step up to 5G yet, especially since we haven't even gotten 4G and 4G LTE all the way functional and reachable across every area of the US alone. Now, the other company that I'm really wishing is gonna turn things around and really curious to see what they're gonna do is Apple. Now, if you've been paying attention to anything about Apple in the past couple of weeks or so, you'll know that the iPhone XS, XR, and XS Max sales have been pretty much less than stellar. The overall excitement and anticipation for the newest iPhones are starting to get lower and lower, and Apple is starting to realize that. I'm really curious to see what they're gonna do with the iPhone 11 or whatever they plan to call it, because at this point, Apple is really starting to fall behind and their consumers are starting to get a little bit smarter. And if they continue to go down this path of shortchanging people and not giving the consumers exactly what they want, it can start to decline. And I also have a video coming about them very soon, so stay tuned for that. And lastly, I'm excited for this small company called OnePlus. Now, OnePlus came out with the OnePlus 6 a couple of months ago, and that phone was a massive success. There were lines around buildings for T-Mobile with everyone trying to get their hands on this device. And I'm really eager to see what they're going to do with their next phone, the OnePlus 6T, or if they're even going to skip the 6T and go straight to the OnePlus 7. They have a massive foothold in the market right now and they're growing rapidly and I feel like if they continue down this path, they're going to start leaking their way into America, which they've already done. Right now, you can get the OnePlus 6 for a fraction of the cost of an iPhone XS, XS Max, and even the XR. Overall, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with the OnePlus 6T or even the OnePlus 7 because they're on some great momentum right now. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. I just wanted to make this real quick short video for you guys to let you know what I'm excited for in 2019. If there's anything you guys want me to do a video on, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.